just here dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having a good day. Um, it was a good day for me until someone just sent me uh, a video that's beyond troubling. Not shocking, but definitely beyond troubling. Uh, before I get into this, don't forget to support what we're doing at the Odyssey Project. Definitely don't forget to show love and support for the work we're doing with Black Men Lead. This program is so necessary right now. Uh, and I'm about to explain to you just one of the reasons why. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you're on social media, you're going to see it so circulating uh, throughout the day and probably beyond that. But uh, looks like maybe middle school uh, at the most high school, but it looks middle schoolish. Um, young black male walks up on maybe high school, but they seem somewhat small. Walks up on someone that's supposed to be his girlfriend. Uh, talking to another guy. Punches that guy. That guy, one time, he holds his head and stumbles off, leaves the girl unprotected. And this guy begins to beat her like a dude. Knocks her down. When she gets back up, he figures he didn't do enough, so he comes back over, knocks her down again, and then starts to kick her. What looks like a teacher or definitely an older looking person walks up, a female, you know, of substantial size, I'll put it that way, walks up and gets between them, but makes the mistake of walking off and turning her back on him. He, he runs up behind her and punches her and the video goes off. So I don't know the depths of it. What I do know is we have a problem. I've been telling you we've been having a problem for close to 15 years. I've been telling you there's a solution to the problem. I've been telling you that this problem will not fix itself, that it's actually getting worse. We aren't properly socializing our young black males. We aren't preparing black males to be strong, productive, and effective black men. We're unleashing unprepared black males on our community. We're unleashing unprepared black males on our daughters. I'm looking at this baby. She's somebody's daughter. I don't know if her dad's around or not. Hopefully he is. But even that is not going to end up good because now we got a little hard head that's probably going to get taxed. Which somebody needs to do something with them. Period. But there are solutions. We are unleashing them. That's an emotionally unstable, emotionally unprepared, emotionally immature child oper attempting to operate in a mature position of being in a relationship with a female which most kids at that age aren't ready for, but are so uh, ready to jump into, in their minds, and their thinking, and their desires. Not ready in preparation and maturity and equipment. And when I say being equipped socially, being equipped resp with responsibility, being equipped with an awareness of self and the role that you play in this community, when I talk about being equipped, that's what I mean. Now, this is trauma. That we will normalize trauma, that we will marginalize trauma, that we will minimize and pretend isn't that big of a deal. It's huge. Everybody that's seen it is traumatized. May not even understand it, but they are, they're processing it and it's going to have a negative impact. That little girl is definitely traumatized. The young boy who was initially hit uh, with one blow is gonna be traumatized for, on a couple of different ways. Number one is you gotta walk, dude walks up, punches you. Uh, the punch wasn't enough to take him down. I can tell you that because it took numerous blows to take the girl to the ground who was smaller, more feisty though, but smaller. Um, and so, he took, to me, the coward's way out. You know, maybe he figured this ain't my fight. I'm just up here talking and I'm bellowing. But again, that's a problem to me. If I'm in the presence of a female and a male comes up to do her harm, 
I'm not stepping out of the way and saying it ain't my business. I'm not built that way. Never have been built that way. My dad wouldn't let me in the house built that way. You know why? I have nine sisters. Well, I have seven now. Two are deceased. Died tragically. But I guarantee you, they didn't die from a dude putting their hands on them. I guarantee you, that ain't never been a problem for one of my sisters. It's never been a problem for any female I've been around. I've had some females do me real shady. And I haven't always been the guy I am now, I'll put it that way. That was a time that you could expect violence from me. Never started nothing, but was always ready to finish it. But that didn't apply to females. I was taught that you protect them and then if they're not in a position to be protected because they don't know how to carry themselves, you stay away from them. But you can't raise somebody's daughter by putting your hands on them. You can't bring them to a point of where they're doing what they should be doing by putting your hands on them. Now, if they are putting your life in jeopardy and you need to protect yourself, whole nother story. But letting your emotions and your anger get in the way, not what's up. And then I grew up and I realized that I didn't need to do that to dudes. If my life wasn't in, in danger or those who I love wasn't in danger, what somebody did wasn't enough to make me bring harm to them. I grew up, but I had men around me that guided me. They showed me how important I was to this world, how important I was to my family, how important I was to my community, and how quickly that could all go away with one stupid decision. They watched out for me before I was smart enough to watch out for myself. They gave me a direction, a sense of purpose and identity. And we're not doing that for these boys. And we are losing our daughters because of it. But all we're going to say when we see that video, and I'm not posting it because YouTube will light my ass up and I'll be in another whirlwind and be doing this, starting this thing over again. But because they're underage, they're minors, and that's violence. Uh, so, but it's out there. We've got work to do. It's time to stop talking. It's time to stop talking about it. It's time to stop going, oh my God. It's time to stop going, shaking my head and wow. It's time to start putting in work. It's time for us to be in these streets, taking it back. It's time for us to start training and conditioning and properly socializing young black males starting at the age of four. That's what we do. We take them through a rite of passage program. When they're 13, they graduate. They have a celebration. They start their journey for manhood. And they, and, and they take on responsibility. They're held accountable. We need to start dealing with the mental health issues with our teenage boys and our young adult males. We provide mental health uh, resources for men up to 30 and beyond when it's necessary. We don't get anywhere close to support we need and we don't see it. There's a sheriff's deputy dad because young black males decided that they're going to get into the catalytic converter death ring. Our 15 year old comes home and tells us that boys at their school are doing that. Well, guess what? He's not going to school anymore. We're going to keep our kids where they can be safe. We're going to move, do whatever we got to do to make them safe. That's just me. What about the people who can't move? What about the people who can't pull their children out of one school, homeschool them, or do whatever they need to do? What about those people who are, aren't yet equipped to make those kind of moves? So we say the hell with them. That's the problem. We've been doing the hell with them a lot. We don't want to. We don't want to uh, admit it, but we have. 
if we've gotten out and we ain't got to deal with it directly, we don't see our people who are back there still with it the same way. A lot of us are so proud of the fact that we got out. That's all we talk about. We think we're better. We're not better. We're just in a different situation. We were fortunate enough to make the right moves, the right decisions at the right time. We were fortunate enough to be in the right plane, in the right lane. Doesn't mean we're better. It means we have better situations. I said this a long time ago, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. As long as I'm an anomaly, I haven't fulfilled my responsibility to, to my community. As long as every black man that wants the opportunity to be where I'm at or better doesn't have it, I haven't fulfilled my responsibility. I haven't uh, fulfilled what I should be doing in my purpose. And I mean that. And I think that we have to understand that it's not about just getting out. It's about bringing people with us. It's about paying it forward. It's about... Um, being an instrument of progression and empowerment for those who we leave behind of, much, of whom much is given much more is required we've got work to do as I said we've been talking about fundraising for months now on something that should have been done in a week that's good but what I can tell you is I get to see the results up close. You get to see it as a passing post on your news feed. I'm the one that's getting the foul out. I'm the one that's getting these kids. I'm the one that's sitting here dealing with the things that I'm dealing with on a regular basis. It's constant every day. Something, it's my desk that tells me we have problems far beyond what we're willing to admit. We're not gonna wish our way out. We're not gonna pray our way out. We're not gonna beg our way out. We're not gonna guilt our way out. We are going to have to work our way out. We're going to have to be willing to be responsible for ourselves. We're gonna to have to be willing to confront the enemy within. That's the truth. On that note, look, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm pretty sure it won't take much to find that video if you wanna see why I'm so irritated right now. You know. On that note, I'm out of here. For those who want to see a difference and ready to ready to be a part of a difference, the links to support our work is in the description box. And you can also give to the organization through our Cash App account, which is also in the description box. On that note, I'm out of here.